Please join me in welcoming speaker, author, and craft beer lover, Ryan Jenkins. Yeah, I don't want you guys to listen to anything I have to say. What I want you to do, big difference here, what I want you to do is listen to what you hear. Generations are a clue. They're not a box, but they're a clue. Okay? And I think in my experience, in my, my, my opinion, they're a very big clue on how we market to them, how we connect with them, how we lead them. And by the way, uh, for all those playing at home, I am a millennial myself, so I can take some jabs, I think, with some credibility with this generation. Uh, but if at any point, if I'm, if I'm up here and I stop mid-sentence and I just collapse right in front of you, don't be alarmed. That's why I'm telling you this in advance, don't be alarmed. It's more than likely it's because it's been over an hour since I've texted somebody. So <laughs> I need some grace on this. So front row or, or Kimberly, if I fall over, just lob me a mobile device and we'll, you know, give me a couple seconds, all right? I hope you guys will do that for me. Okay. And the last statistic here, 39% of millennials believe that the future of education as being more digital. Millennials um, have never had to adapt to technology. It's just all they've ever known. People say, Ryan, millennials, oh, they're so tech savvy. Oh, it's driving me crazy. And I'm going, no, 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 they're not tech savvy. Millennials are not tech savvy. They're tech dependent. The millennial generation is the first generation ever that doesn't consider parents or their teachers as the authority but rather they consider what the authority? The Google, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the internet. They consider the internet as their authority. And this, this, this demographic, the, the millennial generation, attacks problems and solves problems fundamentally different than their elders. They're not trying to piss you off on purpose, okay? It's just they've had a hyper-social, hyper-connected, high-tech upbringing. Right? So it's made them a new, a different breed of humans. You have technology and the internet coupled with the largest generation on the planet, and that's the recipe for the massive, massive disruption. I'm not sure this is a millennial thing. I'm not sure this is a generational thing. I think we're just living through fundamental culture shifts. And really, I use the millennials really as a benchmark, kind of as the illustration of how much change is ahead of us. And I think all of us, including myself, we're just grossly, 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 grossly underestimating how much change is ahead of us, which is millennials want to be active consumers. 95% of millennials say that friends are the most credible source for product information. 78% of millennials would rather spend money on a desirable experience than buy coveted goods. They want that one-of-a-kind thing that they can go out and experience, and then they're gonna go blog about it and tell other friends and tweet and pin it and whatever else, right? Cisco estimates that by 2018, 79% of consumer internet traffic will be video. Trend number two, 63% of millennials stay updated on brands through social networks. So this is an, an important and fundamental thing to understand, that social is not about the tools, it's about the reach, it's about creating context. And so I believe it's, we're seeing the humanization of brands. You know, the more personality you can put behind a brand, the more real and authentic and transparent you are, the more you'll win over with the millennial generation. Two and a half times are how much more likely millennials are to share a social media link that references a brand. So that leads us to the last trend, trend number three, infotainment over information. Content that's entertaining sees engagement. 70% of consumers delete emails immediately that don't render well on a mobile device. 90% of all text messages are read within three minutes. The open rate of text messages are 98% compared to 22% uh, to of emails. 62% of all of email is first open on a mobile device. Every email, every blog post, every sales page, every video, any content that you create, you have got to think about it through the lens of mobile. You know, creating simple and clear content is excruciatingly complex. Right? Just try to write a mission statement. That is hard work, right? Trying to boil it down. But it's absolutely necessary that we create that clear and concise content. Because this is a generation that grew up in the age of customization. They want to be able to customize their career track. They want to be able to customize their learning. They want options. Did you want to come up and say some more? Like, should no. we no, no, tag no. team it? 
<laughs> Everything you said was fantastic. Okay, okay. So guys, thanks for having me. I hope that you and your teams find your new streets, and I hope you decide to walk boldly down them. Thanks, guys. Skimmable or s uh, yeah. Oh, that was gonna be my outro. I was gonna rip off my clothes and rock slide out to you guys.